In an era where unmanned aerial systems have become a defining feature of modern warfare, Australia is positioning itself at the forefront of counter-drone technology with the Fractal Portable High Energy Laser System. Developed by Melbourne-based AIM Defence in collaboration with the Australian Defence Force and the Defence Science and Technology Group, the Fractal system represents a groundbreaking step toward integrating directed energy weapons into Australia's defence arsenal. Designed to neutralise drones with precision and efficiency, this innovative system has made significant strides in 2024 and early 2025, with recent deliveries, live fire tests and international recognition underscoring its potential as a game-changer in layered air defence. As part of Australia's broader guided weapons and explosive ordnance enterprise, the Fractal program aligns with the 2023 Defence Strategic Review's emphasis on countering evolving threats in the Indo-Pacific, particularly from low-cost, high-impact drones seen in conflicts like Ukraine and the Red Sea. The Fractal Systems journey began in 2019 as a collaborative effort between AIM Defence and DSTG to address the growing threat of drones which have become increasingly accessible and lethal on the battlefield. Unlike traditional kinetic defences that rely on costly munitions, the Fractal system uses a high-energy laser to deliver precise, light-based strikes, offering a near-zero operational cost and an unlimited magazine as long as power is available. The latest iteration, the Fractal 2, is a portable, battery-powered system weighing approximately 50 kg, though images suggest a slightly larger footprint. It can neutralise over 50 drones per battery charge or operate continuously when connected to a power source, making it highly adaptable for field operations. The system's AI-enabled tracking achieves millimetre accuracy at ranges up to 1 km, capable of burning through steel and tracking targets moving at 100 km reach, such as a 10-cent piece from a kilometre away. A standout feature of the FRACTL2 is its enhanced eye safety tactical laser, which reduces the blinding risk of traditional 1 micron infrared lasers by a factor of 100, making it the safest high power laser system globally and suitable for urban and operational environments. Significant milestones in 2024 have propelled the Fractal program forward. In March 2024, AIM Defence Secured journeyed a $4.9 million contract with the ADF to supply the first Fractal system for field-based counter-drone trials, marking the ADF's initial foray into directed energy weapons. This was followed by a $4.8 million contract in August 2024, leading to the delivery of two additional systems in October 2024, bringing AEM Defense's total ADF contracts to over $10 million in a year. These three systems can operate in a networked configuration allowing coordinated tracking of a single target or simultaneous engagement of multiple drones, enhancing tactical flexibility. On May 27, 31, 2024, the ADF conducted live fire testing at the Pukapunyal military area in Victoria, where the fractal system achieved a hard kill against a drone at 500 metres, demonstrating its ability to incinerate targets with less power than a household kettle. AIM Defence reports over 200 successful drone engagements in prior indoor and outdoor tests, with hard kills at 1 km and counter sensor capabilities at 1.5 km, though the Pukaponyal test focused on validating its deployability at 500 m. The Fractal System's international recognition further highlights its potential. In May June 2024, AIM Defence participated in the Counter Uncrewed Aerial Systems Sandbox 2024 in Canada, hosted by the Canadian Department of National Defence's Innovation for Defence Excellence and Security Program. Competing against 14 other counter UAS prototypes, including those from industry giants like Boeing and Leonardo, the Fractal System secured a $1 million prize for its performance, underscoring its global competitiveness. 
the system's ability to combine precision, safety, and cost efficiency positions it as a leader in the rapidly evolving counter drone market. The ADF's testing and international demonstrations are supported by Australia's Robotic and Autonomous Systems Implementation and Coordination Office and Jericho Disruptive Innovation Group, which have invested five years into the program, culminating in the Pukapunyal trials as a final validation phase. To support scaling production, AIM Defence opened a 4,000 square metre advanced manufacturing facility in Melbourne in September 2024, officiated by Australia's Deputy Prime Minister. The facility aims to produce 10 fractal units within the next 12 months, with a potential capacity of over 100 units annually. This aligns with the GWEO Enterprise's goal of fostering sovereign defence manufacturing reducing reliance on foreign supply chains amid global shortages. The ADF is also training personnel to operate the Fractal system, which is deployed from a ruggedized case and controlled via an intuitive video game-like handheld console, enhancing its battlefield usability. The system's design prioritizes simplicity and safety addressing concerns about the complexity and risks of directed energy weapons in operational settings. Strategically, the Fractal system addresses critical gaps in Australia's defence posture. The 2023 Defence Strategic Review emphasised the need for advanced counter UAS capabilities to counter the proliferation of drones in modern conflicts, which can overwhelm traditional air defences. The Fractal system's resource efficiency makes it a vital component of layered air defence, complementing longer-range missile systems. Its low operational cost contrasts with the high expense of missile-based defences, offering a sustainable solution for prolonged engagements. However, challenges remain, including extending the system's range to consistently achieve hard kills at 1 km and counter sensor effects at 1.5 km, as well as integrating it with military sensor suites and command and control systems for seamless battlefield interoperability. Feedback from ADF field tests and international exercises is driving these improvements, with AIM Defence prioritising range enhancement and system integration. Beyond its technical achievements, the Fractal program reflects Australia's broader defence ambitions. The GWEO enterprise, backed by a $16 to $21 billion investment over the next decade, aims to establish Australia as a regional hub for advanced weapons manufacturing. The Fractal Systems development benefits from partnerships with DSTG and aligns with AUKUS Pillar 2 efforts to advance directed energy and counter-drone technologies alongside the US and UK. However, the program faces competition from global players, as seen in the Canadian Sandbox, and must continue innovating to maintain its edge. Additionally, the ADF's collaboration with other firms, such as Chinetti Q Australia and Mitsubishi Electric Australia, indicates a diversified approach to laser technology, though the Fractal system remains the most advanced in counter UAS applications. Looking ahead, the Fractal program is poised for further growth. AIM Defence is leveraging its new manufacturing facility to meet ADF demand and explore export opportunities, potentially positioning Australia as a supplier of cutting-edge counter-drone systems to allies. The system's eye safety features and portability make it adaptable to various operational contexts, from urban defence to expeditionary missions. However, Achieving consistent long-range performance and seamless integration with existing defence systems will be critical to its success. The program's alignment with Australia's strategic priorities, including deterrence by denial in the Indo-Pacific, ensures continued investment and focus. As drones continue to reshape warfare, the Fractal system stands as a testament to Australia's commitment to innovation, sovereignty and security in a rapidly evolving threat landscape.